All right, so we're gonna be taking this 1971 Chevelle to lunch today. This one's got the 350 under the hood with power steering and power brakes. I love the color of this one. Definitely stands out. Should be a pretty easy test drive. Check out maplemotors.com for financing, shipping, and detailed pictures. And of course, I do this every day, so go ahead and hit subscribe and share this video. Because guys, we're gonna be taking this thing down the road and picking out the flaws. That's why I'm here. Go ahead and shut down the hood. Go ahead and get the latches on. It don't actually need those, so it does lock without doing that. And let me get my lunch buddy. All right, guys. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. And before we take off on any test drive, we look around the interior and check everything out. If you don't mind, place your bets on the horn. Do you think the horn works? It's a game we like to play. Looking around on the interior, got the floor shifter, the bucket seats. The back seat's in great shape. Send me your package tray. Yeah, your little panel over there is definitely pulled out. This side, it looks good. Headliner's pretty tight. Light there is working. Let's see. They had this car in the back this morning. I think getting vacuum. But it hasn't been started since then, so. Wow. Very nice. Temp gauge is broke. That's maxed out. Gas gauge? Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna get gas. I don't I'm not gonna try to run out today. Showing 92,000 miles. Let's try some stuff. Place your bets on the horn. Wipers. There they go. Wipers are working. Uh, blower motor. For you. I mean, not blower motor. Radio and blower motor. You know the radio's working. Nothing. So the blower motor is out on this one. Turn signals. Left side's blinking. Right side. You can hear it clicking, but the bulb is out. She's cold, a little hesitation when you get into the throttle. She was actually quite quiet. I mean, let's try that horn. Did you place your bets? If you said it worked, you was wrong. All right, guys, in the road. Let's see here. I'm trying to get the seat belt out. We're gonna take off down the road here. I'm going to lunch, so we're gonna get some outside shots. Jeff and them going to dose. Is that what they said, Evan? Yeah, dose. Okay. This is the first time I've driven this ride. I do this with all the cars on the lot. Just kind of review them like I was going to buy them. Um, figured that was the best platform there. No hesitation at all now that it's warmed up. The speedometer is coming up on the dash. I mean, that's pretty straight down the road. Real tight steering. I mean, it's kind of there. Kick down is hooked up on this one and when I get into the brakes it stops plenty fast. Not too bad at all. So we're gonna get some gas over here because the gas gauge is floating around. I mean, when I get into the gas, it goes up to a quarter tank. So I think we're actually pretty low, closer to E. And again, I don't wanna have to have Evan push us down the road. So I don't think he wants to do that either. <laughs> So $30 worth of premium gas will not hurt this car. The suspension on this one is not too bad.
the brakes, they're really stopping quick. They're touchy. After this, guys, we're going to get some undercarriage shots, light everything up so you see uh, the whole thing. I'm not trying to hide nothing here. Let's get some fuel. I'll be back. Okay. We topped her off with some premium fuel here. Notice the gas cap's a bit loose. Needs a tighter one on there. It's not supposed to be that loose. All right. Door opens easy. Hopping off in here. That's where the gas cage was when we rolled in. Turning the key on. Waiting for a reaction there. Go ahead and start her up and try it again. We're gonna give it a second because I think the gas cage is gonna move around once we start moving the car. So we'll check that again here in a minute. Let's take off. Okay, so, yeah, we just kind of took over the road back here. Still got a little bit of a hesitation when you get into the throttle like that. We're gonna take off now and head back to the lot. Evan called it a head thong. I don't know <laughs> if that's the correct meaning, but that y'all are on my head. So, <laughs> I liked it, I thought it was all right. My hair is poking out everywhere right now. I got I need a haircut so bad. What happened to the road there? Did you see that? Huge chunk of it missing. This is a pretty rough road here. And the suspension's not bad on this car. You can really tell it's taking the bumps just like it should. I think the only thing that I've noticed that I didn't care for too much was a little bit of a hesitation. But it doesn't do it as you're driving down the road. It's just from like an idle there to a little bit of a hesitation. But so far it's good. Quite smooth. <laughs> we do a thing a little bit different today because I gotta take old Evan back to work. And when we get back there is when I'm actually gonna do the walk around. Uh, I'm going to get some undercarriage stuff there, too. I got a little side street right beside the car lot to work with. We all think about all these new spots that we're doing videos at. I figured it'd mix it up a little bit. Kind of forces me to make things different, right?
Okay. So we made it back to the car a lot now. Again, like I said, undercarriage video is coming. Walk around is coming. Look at those detailed pictures. Get pre-approved at maplemotors.com. That way it makes it easier and a quicker process to pick up one of these cars from us. I know these Chevelles generally go fast the first day we post them, so that's why I was working on this video. I'll see you here in just a moment, guys. I got some more shots to do. And let's do it back here. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Picking out the flaws. Anything I see, you'll know about it. Detailed pictures, financing, maplemotors.com. Let's get started. Front bumper here, little scuffs. Most of it looks pretty good. Light little crack there in the corner light. Headlight bezels look pretty good. The grill on this one also looks pretty good. trim around that fender not bad and down the bottom a little spot there in the corner of the door chip here wax in the corner up over the rear back to midsection Let's see if the door does shut any better Just needs to be tightened up. See that hinge needs to be pulled back. And it'll line up pretty good then. Chrome looks good. Dirt up there came off. Front windshield on this one's got some light scratches on that front window. Mirror's in good shape. Pillar looks good. You got some chips up top here around the trim. Crack there in the corner. Light sand marks here. Back window on this one looks pretty good. Trim looks good. And your back side here. So your rear bumper's got a little bit of pitting on it. A little bit of rust behind the tag. You can see a little plate there as well. The weather stripping in the rear has been done and it is in good shape. The trunk pan is nice. See where that's been done over here. Little line there. 
<clears throat> and on this side. Up in your package tray? Not too bad. <laughs> Guys, let me know. I got you on widescreen. I usually do uh, it on linear. And I figured I'd mix it up. Do widescreen, walk around. It does give you a lot more view. That's for sure. Trim sitting a little high in the corner here. Coming down this side. Same thing with this door over here. This needs to be tightened up a little bit. Dirt's coming off. A little chip there. See a spot there behind that bumper? <clears throat> Got up to 80 today and it's throwing my allergies off, so you'll hear me every once in a while clearing my throat. I need to go in there and get some allergy medicine going. Little spot there in the corner. Back over the rear. This side looks pretty good. You got a ding right here in your trim. Back window on this one's pretty clean. Those seals look good. Little spot there. Your front windshield does have a scratch right here from the windshield wipers. Couple dings in the trim. All right. Let's go ahead and check out the interior and listen to this motor. And then we'll get the hood shut here. Little spot there has been stitched in up under the handle. Opening the door. Little spot here. Got ripped. On that panel, you can see down on the bottom, the handle's in the floor there. As far as the seat goes, it's in good shape. The carpet looks nice. definitely been changed out your passenger seats also in good shape Motor's pretty quiet. We're up under the hood, looks good as well. You got a few chips, just some of the paints on there peeling up.
as far as coming down, it's locked. And it comes down easy. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and share this video. That helps me out quite a bit. Go to maplemotors.com if you need merchandise. A lot of people have been coming here trying to get shirts and stuff. Very limited up here. We don't really have that many. But online, we got multiple designs. You see it's sitting up a little high in the back here on the trunk lid. And of course, all of our inventory is updated every Monday with new cars. So check out the playlist below, cars currently available. Look at the lot walk every Monday. And if you need merchandise like t-shirts, cups, or whatever, look below in the description or go to maplemotors.com. Guys, thank you for watching and thanks for the support. I'll see you later.